On today's episode of Mummy's Boy, we're playing a midweek movie game. Whoop, whoop! And we discuss which of us has type A and type B personalities. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you never miss an episode. It's Mummy's Boy. Hello and welcome to Mummy's Boy with me, Arthur Hill, and my adorable and mellow mother, Lisa. Oh, I am so... Oh, isn't she just a picture I'm of so mellow, mellow tonight? I'm so mellow. Oh, so cosy. I'm in my dressing gown. <laughs> Because yes. it's night time and I'm very tired. Only so. she could get away with that if I didn't have my dressing gown. I'm Stick very I cozy. get from professionalism. Oh, Deep mind. down, I've always been a mummy's boy at heart. And in this weekly podcast, I get to spend some quality time with mum and receive some much needed advice that only a mother can give. Grommet. TikTok, viral videos, <laughs> celebrities. These are all things which my mum just can't get her head around. So I'm here to help her mm. before this modern world. Leaves her behind. Or God, should I say postmodern? Not only Steady. will I help her unravel the mysteries of Ute and bring her into the digital age, but I'll also be making Lisa's motherly wisdom available to all of you as well. <laughs> so if you're in need of advice or even just have a question or story that you're desperate for me and Arthur to read, slide into the DMs on socials at Mummy's Boy's Pod, at Mummy's Boy Pod, or any of these other things, like send us a message or even a voice note to, I'm so mellow, to WhatsApp on 07822013837. And no matter what. Oh, lovely. The issue. I will ask her in a feature I like to call Mum, Can We Talk? To be sure, to be sure. Welcome back. Thank you. How has your week been? My week's been all right, actually. Thank you, Arthur. Mm. Awfully busy. Awfully. Are we? Are you Irish for the whole episode? Perhaps. Sometimes I realise I have free will and I yes. tend to use it. You do, don't you? Well, and that's fine. Mm. Mm. You used to be nice. Me? Or were you never nice? I am nice. Oh, you were never nice. Anyone know the movie? I thought it was a pretty good impression I just did. Oh, was that was that Anyone? Inner Sheeran? Banshees of Banshees Inner Banshees of Inner Sheeran. You used to be nice. Or did you not used to be? Mm. Great movie. Awesome. It is a great movie. Great movie. I watched a lovely movie this week. Go on. Uh, Tell the was, class. I, I, I'm going to. It was called A Man Called Otto. I've heard of that. It's Tom Hanks. Oh, of course it is. And and I'm not I I like Tom Hanks, but I'm not one I'm not a sort of like oh Tom Hanks all hail. But um I thought he was really splendid in it. Mm. And he's a very grumpy old man in it. Or well, not that old. Probably not as old as me. Ooh. Oh. But anyway, what? You know what I watched, which is such old news, but what? I watched Don't Fuck with Cats. Sorry. <laughs> What is that? It was so good. I'm, it's what, like I've never been. A, I've never been a true crime sort of guy. It's a true crime. It's a true thing. crime. It is fucking bonkers. What? Like it was so, and also just really well made. But like the actual, like story is just, in, it's insane. I've never heard of it. It was like big. Like was it lockdown or was it maybe before? No after? idea. Yeah, like uh, it was in like lockdown. who was in it? So Anyone? It, it's, it's a. Well, it's like true crime. So. Oh, I see. Right. It wasn't this, yes. Oh, I see. Oh, so it's like a docudrama. But like, drama. basically, these people, these like internet nerds, like tech geeks mm -hmm. in um, America, mm. find this video of an anonymous man killing two cats. <gasps> they don't show the video, but like... That's why it's called Don't Fuck With Cats. Because they're like, then they're like, we need to fucking find this guy. Who, the cats? The, the... <laughs> the cats are dead. And they no, don't I have mean, computers. The cat's family. The cat... The cat's no, no, family no, no. Because they don't... Coming look, to... I think they didn't have no. a family or something. They were, they were okay. kittens, I think. Oh. It was awful. What 
bastard. I hope yeah. he's strung up. So then these people, like, then this Facebook group starts of all these people who are trying to find him from all the clues he's left in this video. There's oh, like really? a poster in the background and there's all this oh. like a weird bed sheet and they just go mm. like insane. I was sitting like, it's kind of crazy how like they, <laughs> there was this one shot where they're like talking about how much they wanted to find this guy and then it like cuts to them like eating meat. <laughs> and it's like, <laughs> is that him? Well, yeah, like, uh, like, I don't know. Oh. But then, but then he, but don't, you're not going to give it away, are you? What happens? Well, I feel like it's like, no, but no, no, I won't. Okay. Well, I don't know. I was going to, but... Oh, all right then. Well, maybe I shouldn't. I don't know. I think I might want to watch... Actually, no, I don't think I do want to watch it if it was that I horrible. think you would like... Think... You, no, but you don't, you don't, they don't show you the don't videos. Show, okay. It's three episodes. Is it? But basically, it just escalates to absolutely insane proportions. <laughs> you keep oh thinking, like, this has to be it now. And then, like, something and it gets else worse. happens. It's oh. re- and it was just really well made. And, like, okay. the final payoff is like, oh, my God. Oh, don't say. But Everyone, go and watch it. The guy, yeah. After you've watched Spooks mm. and A Man Called Otto, which no, is how this yeah, conversation yeah. started. Anyway, yeah. Anyway. <sighs> don't fuck Gosh. with cats. It's... Actually, there's a cat in that film as well. Fucking hell, what are the chances? <laughs> so on Tiki Tok. Tiki Tok. On Tiki Toki. Yeah. That app. Yeah. There was this little thing going around oh, that yeah. sort of shows like what type there's like you can be split into two personalities type a or b oh right and we're oh gonna dear. see which one oh right we are okay so there was like a little screenshot only two yeah so you're either type a or type b oh, crumbs and it basically said in this little video the screenshot that we got that my type b little sister doesn't have a calendar on her phone she just writes down everything in her notes app and then deletes it after it happens oh which is obviously a bit crazy. Not that crazy. Well, when there's an app for it. I don't really... Um, well, here yeah. we go. This is why... But you don't think that's weird? You think that's I good? don't think that's that weird, no. Mm. Sadly. But, but then I write everything down like, on bits like of like August paper. 16th. Brat night at Little Mermaids or something. Mutants. Mutants. I think that's a club. August 17th. Grandpa Bob <laughs> Memoir. Memorial. Memorial. <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh my God, he can't actually read. Like that, what? just why don't you just what? put that in the calendar app? It's not like she doesn't have it, it's the iPhone. Yeah, but well, I don't really like my calendar very much. I mean, I don't do it on, I don't do it in notes because I don't mm. like notes much either. Mm. But I do like a piece of paper. Right. So I understand that a list can right. be. Okay, well, shall I shut up? No, no. Oh, okay. But anyway. Yeah. Type A personalities are often ambitious, competitive, and hardworking. They may be impatient, aggressive, and have a sense of urgency about deadlines. They may also be more likely to be concerned with status and control. Or even status. Status and control. Type B personalities are often easygoing, relaxed and flexible. They may be more patient, empathetic and compassionate. They may also be more likely to procrastinate or be distracted by tasks. Well, I'm definitely B, without a shadow of a doubt. And don't say, no, you're not, you're aggressive and competitive and blah, blah, blah. No, I think, I think you are B. Right. But I don't think I'm either. I think I'm a mixture of the well, two. Well, that's the tricky thing, isn't it? That's why these things are a bit silly. Yeah. In my humble opinion. Rubbish. <laughs> What did the, the the first bit when we were talking about the list? What did that have to do with anything? Because she's type A. Oh, B. she's type A. B, sorry, she's type she's B. Di- <laughs> <laughs> she's type B. <laughs> right. Well, give me an example of a type A then. Otherwise, that doesn't really work. Um, Does I think it? a type A would be probably maybe more likely to use a calendar, yeah. for example, and be oh. concerned with control It'll and be really organisation. Right. Yeah, yeah. But then, but then, to be fair, I immediately said, oh, I'm type B. But mainly because, I mean, a lot of those things are, are far more attractive as characteristics than the ones in type A. Well, you're aren't not they? easygoing. You know, I am easygoing. No, you're not. Oh. <laughs> you're not patient. I am. Oh, my God. I have the patience of a saint, Arthur. And you can stop I laughing. I saw a really Modest. funny. And I'm actually really annoyed that I didn't send this to you because and and I, I won't be able to find it now. What? But there was a TikTok of like when your mum like takes something really personal 
Like it was like the one. It's like it was a sketch, and he just did it so well, and it just oh, reminded really? me of like just growing up. I think everyone's just had similar. Well, of course, where it was just they like have. something like oh, guess it's frozen pizza again tonight, Mum. And she's just like <laughs> completely loses <laughs> the plot. Like, We're well, fucking here tonight because <laughs> I've been fucking up with this family. <laughs> Oh, yes. that was well, good. you do get to a stage. That was good, but I, but I, uh, yeah. yes, no, th- those, no, those, the, oh, no, the qualities in church, no. oh. the qualities in B are sort of softer and nicer sounding qualities, aren't they? No, not necessarily. Oh, but I think they are. Type A is ambitious, competitive, hardworking. Yeah. Sense of urgency about deadlines. That I don't think it was saying they were aggressive people. They were just impatient no. and aggressive around deadlines and getting things done. But then I would also say that I'm quite controlling when it comes to um, tasks and and getting things done. Yeah, I don't like you know I, d- I don't like delegating and I always want to do everything myself mm. because I don't I can't trust yeah. anybody else. To I do wonder it. if it's actually just a load of rubbish. I think it's a load yeah. of rubbish. Yeah. Mm. That's what we've come to the conclusion. That's what we've come to. Yeah. Oh. So, well, there you go then. Shove type A and type B down the toilet, up or up your the bottom. toilet pipe. But <laughs> thanks, Jack. <laughs> toilet pipe for what? For what? For put it. <laughs> Just didn't want you to feel no, bad. But that's interesting, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> But, you know, that people yeah. will have, you know, spent time kind of considering it. And actually, it's... It yes, can't like, be that... It can't, like, you know, like, you know, just can't like, be that oh, simple, I'm a, can I'm it? A, I'm a fucking Virgo. So I'm 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 this and I'm that. Just shut up. <gasps> awesome. It doesn't matter. Mm. It doesn't matter. All steady. Star signs are no, bullshit. Arthur. Star signs and your no. sun and moon. Arthur. You can... You can I'll show you my moon by my ass. Arthur, arse. Arthur, and you can stop shove it. the sun up no, it. No, stop and the it. star. I'm the star. You hear me? No, <laughs> right, stop it right now, you fool. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. You well people want so. something to believe in. Believe in it for all I care. There was one marvelous night this week when the stars. That, that was were... so Taurus of me, though. What I just did, actually. So what of you? So Taurus. Oh, was it? That was so Taurus. I wouldn't me. know. Is that what you are? Have we even done star signs? That would be quite funny. We did mention star Maybe. signs at one point, but I can't remember how far mm. we got. Are you Taurus? I'm a Taurus, yeah. Mm. Me too. Means nothing to oh, me. Yeah. Me three. Whoa! Oh, three Taurus in Gosh, the room. Gosh, I'm outnumbered. Mm. Gosh. Are you? Sagittarius. Can you, can, you, can you Google if Taurus <laughs> and <a> Sagittarius <laughs> are meant to get on? Oh, oh there we go. so it works. Yeah. There you go. There you go. It works. Taurus and Sagittarius compatibility. Taurus and Sagittarius have the potential to be a compatible couple, but they may <laughs> face some challenges. Oh, well, we're not going to be a couple, I don't think. <laughs> uh, but they can also have a vibrant and passionate connection. <laughs> they both value this honesty. This is not going to be fun. This isn't going, not going to be worth This isn't well. going well, is no. it? <laughs> can we be like friends or something? <laughs> Taurus and Sagittarius is a captivating blend of stability and adventure. Oh, oh, there you oh go. that's, that's us. That's good. Yeah, stability. Yeah. I'm the stable bit, and, and you're the adventurous bit. You are the stable bitch. That's right. <gasps> Sorry, bit. Sorry. Oh. Sorry, God, sorry, Arthur. Sorry, I, I, Arthur. Freudian slip. Yes, well. Yes. It says, it says the, li- the love affair between a Sagittarius and a Taurus is going to take work. Sagittarius might find Taurus to be too boring. Taurus oh. might think Sagittarius is a hot mess. Wow. A hot a mess. Hot mess. <laughs> what do you reckon, Sophia? A hot mess? Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bless you. Oh, how funny. Let's go away from the stars and space and moon. Yeah. And to a game. Oh. Back on Earth. Okay. With our producer, Jack. Oh, lovely. Who's out of this world. (laughs) Thank you, Arthur. That's okay. So I've got a game for you to play (laughs) before the nation's favourite game. Yeah. Uh, And I actually have two different games and you can pick. Oh, thank you. So one was about celebrities. Yes. Or ones about movies. 
and because you've been talking about movies today but whichever one we don't play we can play another time um but what would you, what would you feel more i up fancy for? the movie game okay we'll play the movie I'll game play too many okay we'll play the celebrity games, game um, I don't know anywhere near as much about movies as you do, but that's fine. No, well, I'll just look like an idiot as usual, so it's no difference. Okay. No, but playing like celebrity games just reminds me of that bloody bowl game with you. <laughs> like, you know. That did come to mind. Mm. Okay, so this movie game, mm-hmm. let's call it the midweek movie game. Let's. Oh, nice. Uh, I'm going to give you a genre mm-hmm. of film, and you have to think of a movie. Mm-hmm within that genre and you're trying to guess the movie with the highest imdb rating oh okay (laughs) you can't both say the same film you'll take it in terms to go first on each genre okay Okay. and we'll do best of five okay so we'll start easy (laughs) the first genre is action action film action films uh, and Lisa, you can go first. I'm going to go for, um, I just can't think of the franchise, you know, Bruce Willis um, that we watch at Christmas. Die Hard. Die Hards. I'm Which going, one? Um, die Hards. <laughs> die, the Die Hards. No, you have to pick one. Yeah, I'm just about to. I'm going for Die Hard, the one we see at Christmas. <laughs> the one with... Um, Alan Rickman. Voldemort, yeah. Not Voldemort, Voldemort um, Alan Rickman. That's, yeah, that's which die one's hard that? One. It's die, yeah. die hard. Is it one? Yeah. yeah. Is it? Die Hard One. That's my choice. Okay. Arthur. I'm going for Heat. Oh. Al Pacino and Robert De Niro. Yeah. Oh. Two very strong choices. Oh, are they? Both above eight. Which is good. Is that good? Yeah. One of them is actually only one point in it. One is 8.3, one is 8.2. Oh, my God. And the winner with 8.3 is Heat. Come on! I was confident Damn. there. I guess the point. But there was only, that was only one wow, in Wow, that's close though. Yeah. Great movie. Never seen it. She's got a great ass! Oh, thank you, Arthur. This was a good that's moment. Isn't lovely. It? Yeah. Goodness me. So on, on IMDb, yeah. what, do they only go up to 10? Is that the... It's out of 10. Yeah. But it's, it's 10. in decimal places. Okay, so gotcha. 8.123. But that's good. Anything above an 8 is a really good yeah. movie. Oh, I think okay. the highest is only like a 8.7 or something. There are some 9s. Are there? Yeah. Are there? Okay, next category. Yes. Is fantasy. Oh, no. Avatar. Okay, I'll expand it to be fantasy slash science fiction. So that, that can oh, work sorry. In. But you don't not... get to go first. It's Arthur. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Sorry. So you can steal that if you really wanted to. No, so. no, no, no. That's not even close. Isn't it? No. Oh. I would well, say... I can change my mind then. Shit, yeah, I should have poker-faced it. I will say... Oh, Lord of the Rings. Oh, Which Return one? of the King. Okay. Lisa. Um... I so I was going to say Lord of the Rings. Well, you, you wouldn't have been able to name one, though. No, I wouldn't have been able to name one. You can use one of the other ones if you wanted to. I don't to. know what they're called. Well, you can say one or two. You know, we did that for Die Hard. Lord it would be, it would be picked... a cheap, a cheap choice. It would be a cheap trick, wouldn't it? Mm. If Arthur's picked Lord of the Rings three. He's three. Does Star Wars count as as sci-fi? Yeah, I yes. said fantasy right. sci-fi. Mm-hmm. Which one? Um, Star Wars. Oh, it could be close. Actually. Five. Star Wars 5. No. Oh. No. No, not New Hope. <coughs> the Return of the Jedi. There you are. I've just picked well, two returns. Out. The Empire Strike Back is number five, technically. So. Oh, I see. No, I'm going for... What did I say? The Return of the Jedi. It's Return of the King oh. versus Return of the Jedi. Oh, yeah, wow. Return of the Jedi. Okay. Oh, okay. Two returns. Oh, now I get you. Sorry. Okay. God. So... It's tense. Yeah, it's tense. One film is 8.3. One is a nine. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. word. Oh, my God. Return of the Jedi is 8.3. Come on. Lord oh, of Come Relating on. is a nine. The film degree oh. is paying off, finally. I'm not doing badly, though. I've chosen two that no, are 8 yeah, point yeah, yeah. You something. would have got higher if you'd stuck with um, re- would, uh, the fifth. F- the fifth one. Yeah, would that I? would have only been 8.7, though. Oh, okay. Oh, um, gosh, that's interesting. Okay, going to mix up the topics now. 
Ooh. So now I want you to give me a film mm. that's set in Europe. Oh, God. Does the whole thing have to be set in Europe? I'd say, like, they can go to other places, but, like, it's got to have been set in Europe. Like, the, the, the main part of the film. I will decide whether I think it's set in Europe. Oh, producer So it's going to be any genre, but that's the stipulation. <laughs> Schindler's List. I think that's probably a strong choice. Arthur. I think I know two that he might be choosing. I can't think of the name. It's not going to be rated higher than Schindler's List anyway. <laughs> um, Matt Damon and Jude Law. Oh, um, Amazing Mr. Ridley. No. The, ta the, the, talented, the talented Mr. Ripley. It's not going to be Mr. rated higher than Schindler's List. That's stupid. I'll just go for it there. Uh, one of these films is 7.4. Yeah, that's mine. Ooh. That's mine. And one is nine. <gasps> it's got to be mine. Schindler's List is the Yes! Nine. Yes, I'm strong. So two oh, one. Oh my god, I could have gone for like. I thought I you would go for the Grand movies. Budapest Hotel or that one Fucking about Belgium. Hell, yeah. What was that one On, about? Uh, in Bruges. In Bruges, yeah. I thought you might have chosen those. Okay, your next category, Arthur, to go first on this one. Yeah, yeah. It's films starring Tom Hanks. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh that's not fair. <laughs> Oh, I don't um, know, though. Oh. No, yeah, it's got to be Forrest Gump for me. Thank you. Mm. And I would go for Sleepless in Seattle. One of those films is 8.8 .8, and one of those films is 6.8. <gasps> oh, okay. Yeah. You can't ever go for a rom-com. Well, I didn't have a lot of choice. You picked mine. Well, you could have gone Cast Away. It was a shit film. Oh. Sorry. Yes, but Forrest Gump wins that. <laughs> Come on. Arthur, it's 3 1. Get Lucy, in you're playing there. for pride oh. now on the last one. The last category <sighs> to go first First is Lisa. Yeah. Animated film. Oh. oh. Toy Story. Shit. I think that's what you should have done for Tom Hanks. I would have allowed that. Toy, oh, which Toy Story film? Oh, that didn't even... Oh, one. Toy Story 3. <laughs> oh, oh, I thought you'd go for something else, beginning with P. Toy Story 1 versus Toy Story 3. One of them is 8.3. Yeah. And one of them is 8.3. It's a draw. Oh, oh, oh. crikey. Um, and because that's slightly unsatisfying, we'll just do one more. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Slightly unsatisfying. Um, the <laughs> last the category. Okay, I think this is going to really test you. Oh, thanks. Film in a foreign language. Oh, for heaven's sake. Arthur to go first. Oh, um, for heaven's sake. That's not fair. There are a few great ones. I mean, if you really think about it, it's not that obscure. There is, there's quite a few. Yeah, uh, but I'd... Cinema Paradiso, please. Oh, okay. okay. That's an absolute surefire. That is a good one. Fantastic soundtrack. Okay. You've seen it? Of course I have. Ooh. Lisa. Parasite. Fucking shit. Oh. Ha ha! No. I thought that's what you were going to say, and it's literally the only one I could think of. It's a draw again. Is it? <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> They're both 8.5. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Okay, one, uh, one more. We got. I, I feel like we just need to have one more. Either decider. Um, okay, a film set in space. Oh, Alien. Which one? Oh, one. Interstellar. One of those films is eight point five. One is eight point seven. Oh. Interstellar. Is 8.7. Come oh! on! <laughs> yes. So All Arthur, one. Very one. good. Loser. I did pretty well. Did, I did, did a lot well. better than I thought. Yeah, did Parasite well. was a great. I think that Parasite was, really was good, to, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Um, great. Well, well done, guys. We'll play the celebrity game next week. Yeah, it was great. I enjoyed that. I like the game. And now you can go to the nation's favourite game. Yeah. Hell yeah. Well, Aww. normality resumes with two lies and a truth. Hurrah. 
Let's play a classic game of Two Lies and the Truth. I'm going to tell you three things. You have yes. to guess which is the truth. I'll give you the answer in part two. Are you ready? Yes. The days are getting colder, the nights are getting longer, and mm. people are turning to a viral trend called the winter arc. Are they? But what is it? Oh. Is it A, a trend where people connect arms together to form an arc while sliding down hills in the snow? <laughs> B, a trilogy of books about a girl who finds love during winter? C, a mindset for achieving goals during winter? <laughs> oh. oh, I love the idea of the arc with the arms. That's so cute. Yeah. But a load of nonsense. Oh. No. You can think about it. I shall. In the bloody break. Thanks. It's mummy's boy. Welcome back. Thank you. Before the break, we were playing Two Lies and Truth. Here's a reminder of the question. <laughs> the days are getting colder, the nights are getting longer, and people are turning into a vi- Turning into? Yeah, <laughs> oh my are. God, I'm turning into a viral yeah. trend. Sorry, it's not funny. And people are turning to a viral trend called the winter arc. But what is it? Mm. A, a trend where people connect arms together to form an arc while sliding down hills in the snow. B, a trilogy of books about a girl who finds love during winter. C, a mindset for achieving goals during winter. As I say, I like the idea of, you know, making an arc with your arms and sliding about, but I don't think it's that. Um, And nowhere gets any snow anymore. Or enough. Um, The thing about the books... That's not really a viral trend, is it? Because it's a book. Or am I missing the point? It could just be a book that's trending. No, I'm going to go for the third one. A mindset for achieving goals during winter. Yes. Are you sure? Not really. I can reveal. Mm. The answer is C. Oh! You got it right. Ah! You got it right. It's because I'm in my dressing gown. Winter arc season officially started on October 1st and oh. lasts for three months until January 1st. The only oh. hard and fast rules of the winter arc are that you must be disciplined and consistent. Ooh. What you choose to do as part of your winter arc is pretty flexible, but many choose to target their winter arc towards fitness related goals. Oh. Getting up early and setting healthy habits, particularly in terms of working out, eating well and mindfulness. That might mean doing five day a week workout plan or joining a run club. Everyone's winter arc is different. One thing that is for sure is that the winter arc is a time of goal setting, habit development and discipline <laughs> for self-improvement before the new year. Well, my winter arc is wrapping myself up mm. in my dressing gown and avoiding doing a jigsaw wine. and avoiding yeah. wine. Mine's losing Which is still losing going my very belly. well, may I say, everybody. You'll be pleased to know. Nice. Still haven't had yeah, any wine. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm so pleased I got one right. You did. Well done. Thank you. Treat yourself with a glass of wine. No, I wouldn't dream of it. Well done. That was a test. Thank you. Mum? Yes. Can we talk? Oh, yes. Are you ready for some mum? Can we talk correspondence? Yes. Shall we dive in? Yes. Question one from Mrs. Television. No, not the Mrs. Television. No, I think it's uh, just her Instagram handle. Oh, okay. Hi, Lisa and Arthur. I'm a 17-year-old girl with a reasonably large group of friends around me. Sorry. (laughs) 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 Hi, Lisa and Arthur. I'm a 70-year-old girl. 70, fucking hell. (laughs) Come on, Arthur, you can do it. Hi, Lisa and Arthur. I'm a 17-year-old girl with a reasonably large group of friends around me, mixed of boys and girls, and during January, I got close to one of the boys talking to him. More than most people in the group of people. (laughs) I always made it clear to him that it was only friendship and nothing more and that I wasn't looking for anything more. But he still slowly developed that deeper feeling for me. I never stopped. Okay. There's, this isn't me. There's, there's some need for some commas. Ah, this is television. That's I'm always sorry to tell you. difficult with the commas. But he still slowly developed that deeper feeling for me. I never stopped talking to him because I enjoyed talking to him and thought of him as one of my closest friends. Aww. Recently at a party we had, we had, 
<laughs> Recently at a party, he had tried to kiss me, but I backed away, not wanting to give him the wrong impression. Then he messaged me, asking me out, and I politely said no, still reminding Aww. him this is purely a friendship and will always be. Now he has gone and told all his friends, and they have all stopped speaking to me. Oh. Do you have any advice on what I should do? Pay attention in English. Oh, stop it, Arthur. Sorry, that's really Yes, mean. put a few commas yeah. in. It's very difficult. No. no, but, oh, bless you. What's her name? Mrs. Television. Oh, yes, of course. Yeah. Um, Wait, you, you, you say he's just, sorry. You say he's just we, gone we, and told everybody. Um, but what's he told everybody? I mean, you haven't done anything wrong. You haven't done anything wrong. All he's, he's told, told them, them is he, that he's asked you out and she's said no. But yeah. you haven't done anything wrong, and I think you need to hold on to that mm -hmm. fact because actually you've you've done really well and you've you've handled it really. Yeah, you have literally done you've, nothing wrong. You've done nothing wrong. You've behaved really nicely. You've always told him where things stand yeah so you know look you're only 17 and the boys probably need to just grow up it's really always bit. the boy isn't it it's always mm. the boy catching the feelings yeah. all our things you get in it's always i know i know the boy well because they don't with unrequited just, love yeah and they don't grow up it takes them a while mm. to catch us girls up those Sorry. pesky boys Be so generic but yes mrs television so mm. um Chat, try and say to your friends and explain that you haven't done anything wrong. You just don't have feelings from him. Yes. And hopefully they'll come round. Um, and maybe talk, and if you can, harsh. talk to him and just say, do you know try what? stay friends. A friendship is far more important mm. and will last longer. Yeah. So. Good luck, Mr. Well, not Television. always, but you know. Yes. Oh, bless. Okay. Question two. Hi, Arthur and Anita. My name is Eva, and I have twins who oh. are 12 years old. One is a girl and one is a boy. My little one recently got her period, and I'm wondering if I should explain to my boy what it is or if I should wait since he might find out on his own. And when Arthur's sister got her period, did you tell him then or did you wait? I would love to hear your opinion on this. Love the pod. It honestly makes my week. Oh. That's very nice. Well, thank you for that. Yeah. Oh, how nice to know somebody of who has twins is also listening. Um, I did. Oh gosh, you know that's a real kind of like. Pfft. I don't think I ever mentioned it to Arthur, but I think. What are they? But I think back then, people didn't. You know, back it's, then, wasn't there, wasn't well, there, it's ten years ago? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, but ten I years ago, it's we weren't. That much. I remember you. I remember you going in for some sort of sex education thing at school and coming home hysterical because you'd had a picture of a a sperm flying about and you know, it was all <laughs> like you know. That's funny, sperm funny. Not like it is now when you are literally taught everything when you're four. I mean, it, I, no, you know, I don't think you are. I don't well, think they're putting you know, condoms on bananas at fours. But, no, but they they fours? they do. They it's all what nothing. Um, so I wouldn't have mentioned it at that point, and I have no idea how Arthur found out or when he discovered such matters existed. I read a book, but on it. did you? You did not. Yeah. I know everything there is to know. No, be sensible. You didn't read a book. Okay, he's nodding his head sagely. Um, there was a, I saw I, quite a funny video the other week came up on my For You page hmm. of like just a girl in public asking men like, what does a woman do when she's on a period and she needs to wee? Like, do they, does she have to take her... Like tampon out, and they're all like, "Yeah, I suppose she does." Dear <laughs> like, God, oh, like, dear. How can you not? it's a little bit worrying, isn't it? Yeah. Oh dear God. Uh, it's right. A owl. Oh dear. Um, but and they're like, "God, I never thought about that." Yeah, I'm, that must be well annoying. Oh, <laughs> you have no idea. Mm. Um, I, I think probably if I was doing it again, um. I probably would have a chat with both of them, actually. Yeah. So that he was, you know, aware. Because 
everyone seems to be aware of everything. I would tell him, days. get him knowledgeable. The ladies will love it. I think, well, yeah. Get him mm. geeked up on periods. Yeah. I think it's all a bit too much out there now, personally, but that's... Get him, get him to put tampons in his bag to school. Why would he do that? Because he'll imagine it'd be like, just be like, hey, do you need, do you need one of these? You look like you're about to have a period. No, you'd have to maybe work, well. work that out. But yeah, yeah, you yeah. Know. I think you have to think that one through, Arthur. Or just you know, if he just knows that. Yeah, if he, if he just like, understands I'm, what's going on. Well, then in that case, I'll go easy on you because you know you might be going through PNS right now, um, and you know I bought you some snacks. <laughs> oh, here's some Nurofen. Yeah. And please don't hit me if I say the wrong yeah. thing. Um, yeah. I think, yeah, I think it's, you know, yeah, if you know, he, he doesn't <laughs> need to know everything, does he? But, yeah, give him a, give give him him an a, idea. Give him a little, give, give him, him an him idea. Birds and the bees you know, in the blood. And, and, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Gosh. Good luck. Question yeah. three from Anon. <laughs> it's been a while. <laughs> hey, Arthur and Issa, love the pod so much so that my friends tell me I'm picking up a slight English accent. Oh. I know you hate Anons, but I don't want my ex-boyfriend to know my name. Oh, she Welsh. Uh, oh, well, <laughs> I boom. Back in Feb, my boyfriend moved to Melbourne for uni. I live in Sydney. And we decided that we didn't want to do long distance for the three years that he'd be living there because that would be quite painful. Um. We didn't really say that we'd fully go non no contact. Big mistake. In the beginning, it's very painful knowing that what the other person is doing. So we've been texting every day since. Yes, we are clearly insane. Yeah. He comes back home to visit his family every couple of months and every time that he's been back, we've met up. He's been telling me that he doesn't think he wants to live in Melbourne anymore and he's applied to uni in Sydney. I oh. miss him a lot, but I don't know if it's just the distance or if I actually miss him. I also don't know if I want to get back together with him when he gets back because I feel like I need to be with other people. Oh. But also, I don't want to break his heart because he said I'm partly the reason why he wants to come back. Oh. What do I do? Oh. What do I do? Um. Follow your heart. That's my answer. God, Arthur. Follow your heart and you will find the answer. What's that from? I've no idea. You're just on one today. Kung Fu Panda or something? I don't know. Kung Fu Panda? I think so. It's not like follow your, follow your heart. I don't know. I'm imagining a turtle. I'm saying like it. Aslan from London Witch in the Aslan. World. Oh, I love a bit of Aslan. Um, oh, I, oh, that's... Well, I, I think you need to find out how much his decision making to come yeah. back has got something to do with you. He can't be doing because that. Because that is a big, big, big deal. Again, it's the boy who's causing the trouble. So uh, I think next time he comes home, you need to have a proper chat. Yeah. You're old enough to have a proper chat. And, you know, this is a serious situation. If he's going to, you know, scupper, you know, he might be, he might have be able to have an absolutely fabulous time mm. in Melbourne. Um if he and it will be tough. Didn't, you know, if you weren't the carrot to bring yeah. him home. It will be tough, but it, you you will get over it. Yeah. You get over it. Plenty anything. more Aussie fish in the Australian Sea. Down Bondi Australian Beach. Australian Ocean. Does that exist? The Australian Ocean. Austra Not sure that there's one of those. The Australian... There's the Australian Open. <laughs> <laughs> That'll do. That, That'll do. Find a boy at find the Australian somebody. Open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you need to have a bit of a chat. Yeah. To be honest, a non. good old grown-up chat, and then stick to it. Yeah. And you know what? If yeah. you don't, if you constantly not stick to it, maybe you are made for each other. Maybe exactly. And then it'll, know. but then it'll work out. The in bottom three line years is time. everything will be all right because oh. you're in. If only life was sunny that Australia. Mm. Um. Well, that's it for today. Is it? That's it. That's oh, it. I have had a nice time. Me too. We should do this again sometime. Shall we? Always remember new episodes drop every Wednesday and Sunday. And if you're in need of advice or even just have a question or, or advice that you're willing for mum to read. <laughs> that'll do. Slide into the DMs <laughs> on socials at Mummy's Boy Pod or send us a message on WhatsApp on 07833. 
037 07822 07822 That's insane. No, I don't know that. And no matter what the issue, I will ask her. <laughs> Thanks. Bye bye now. Bye bye. It's mommy's boy.